Hello, Steve Gadsby here for Furnace USA. And something that uh, homeowners often just don't want to deal with, don't want to look at, don't want to think about is the box city in their basement, which is the furnace. And it's actually a bit less intimidating than it seems. And there's, there's, they're not super complicated. They're, if anything, they're probably a bit simpler uh, than it actually seems at first. So this is a pretty standard furnace here. This is a mid-efficiency furnace. So mid-efficiency basically just means uh, the furnace is somewhere around 80% efficient. So for every $100 that you spend on gas, $20, you lose up the chimney. It just goes out the house and $80 of it actually turns into heat and is infused into your house. So, so just to kind of quickly go over the real basics of it, this is the exhaust pipe. So um, often called a vent or exhaust or whatever else. This is where the exhaust from the furnace goes up and out um, and it gets real, real hot. So the hotter this exhaust pipe, that means the lower the efficiency that your furnace is. So you'll, if you have a newer furnace, which are called high efficiency furnaces, these exhaust pipes are actually quite cold. There's not much heat left over. So moving down one, one step, what this part is, is called an inducer fan. And what it's doing, it's sucking the exhaust gases through the furnace and pushing it back out. A lot of what you see in furnaces or a lot of uh, what looks complicated is just lots and lots of safety controls, um, especially in new furnaces. So the old furnaces had less safety controls like back in the 50s and 60s and 70s. There was less safeties, but there are safeties built into those ones too. So, so to make sure that the inducer fan is running, to make sure that the exhaust gases are getting sucked out and leaving the furnace, there's a little part here called the pressure switch. So what it does, it senses that that part's running and it's like a little double check. So it's a good way to go. So going down one more step, this thing is called a gas valve. And what it does, um, when you turn your thermostat on, it goes click, that sends a little signal down to the gas valve and a steel doorway. It just opens. Click, the thing opens up, it releases the gas, gas comes out, gas turns on, heats up, and that's when the next step kicks in. That's when the blower kicks in. So down below here is the whole blower. And all that is, is a big drum and a big wheel pushing air up up, 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 and that goes throughout your house. So to give you a bit more detail, because this stuff isn't obvious if this is what you, you know, what you're accustomed to looking at, this is where the cold air from your house, so when your furnace runs, first of all, it doesn't use air from outside to push it up through your vents. It actually, it sucks that air from inside your house. So if you look at your walls and you see those big, long, rectangular vents sitting somewhere in a hallway normally, those are sucking the air back from your house. That air is traveling down through here. It goes through a filter system. It goes through the blower. It passes through the area of the furnace where it's getting heated up. It pushes up, it pushes out, and it pushes through into all the different parts of your house. So that's the, essentially the, uh, the operation of the furnace. The rest of it, it's got lots of safety controls. It has a gas line coming in here, obviously. They have electricity coming into it. But that's the basic functionality of the furnace. So that's it. Thank you very much. This is Steve here for Furnace USA.